This is Tracy Bowman with Bowman for Art on Facebook and T.A. Bowman Studios from Buzzards Bay. And uh, I did this flower painting yesterday and everyone seemed to love it. I really am happy with the combination. So I'm gonna make another one. Let's see how it comes out. <laughs> Recreating something is uh, always tricky, but let's see how we do. So I got my house paint down and I always spin out my flowers. I don't like to have too much paint on the canvas. This is um, a gesso board I bought from Hobby Lobby. And I like them. They're very supportive. Um, they work out well. And let's see how my edges are. I like to, I'm not shy with my house paint. I just realized I don't have a cape on and I got a new shirt on. <laughs> I'd be crazy if I don't put something on my, on myself. I just want a little extra on the edges here. And I'd be smart to put gloves on too. Alrighty, so I got this very pretty pastel color at Michael's and it's a color shift by Folk Art and it's pastel blue and it is so pretty. <clears throat> so the way I start, and it has this great purpley sheen to it is I put down my color for my flower and it's never in the middle, it's just a bit off center. And I don't need much. <clears throat> so now I'll work on my leaves. And I like to um, have a few different colors in my leaves. And I always start with the darkest one. And I have here uh, Deco Art Metallics. And this is Festive Green. And it has a great bit of gold in it. And I put it right near my flower. So I like to go with the darker green, a lighter green, and this is a color shift, and it is, what is the name of that? It's green flash. It also has a nice gold tone to it. And I put it right on the green. And I like a little brown in the flower leaves too. And this is uh, Deco Art Espresso by um, Deco Art Metallics. Okay. And then my cell activator is Payne's Gray. Put 
that right on the green. I put it towards the inside because I'm going to blow the leaves out towards the edge. So this way I'm skimming this cell activator across the colors. And I love my little leaf blower. <laughs> it works really well. And just skim it right across. When you get real good cell action, then that's time to stop. Now they can just hang out and do their thing. Now I can work on the flower. Now I'm going to change it up slightly. I bought these. Darn it. I just dropped something. That's all right. I'll pick it up in a bit. I just got these chameleon micro powder colors. I don't know which way you can see them best, but um, there's all different colors. And they had one that uh, I thought was a purple, and it's not really. It's more of a blue, but it has a, a purple shift to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's interesting. So I'm going to use a little of that. Just to give that flower a little extra sparkle. And then I'm going to use my Amsterdam's um, permanent, permanent um, blue violet, which I just need a little bit. And then glorious gold for the center. Okay. And I'm going to use two cell activators. I'm going to use um, white and the Payne's gray. I'll put down the white one first. Don't need a lot. Now the paint's gray. Now this kit's tricky. So when you're using the leaf blower, you really got to try to hit right down on top of that bullseye, let's say, because you want it to open up and evenly distribute. So I come from up high, I come and try to ease, worm in on it. I give it a little bit of a high blast from up high when I finish. Look at that cell action. Oh my gosh. It's really coming out lovely. <clears throat> okay, so now I can play with the leaves because they're they're done brewing. <laughs> Just modifying them some. with that. 
All right, now to create our flower. And this area here where most of the cell action is, um, I like to um, make that the center of my flower. So I will drag my skewer in without touching that very center. And I love these skewers. They're called a paddle skewer. It has a fat end and a skinny end. So I'd like to use the fat end when I'm creating the, the petals. Drag in and pull straight up so you don't dribble. Imagining what a flower actually looks like. And create some interest. All righty, now we'll give it a spin. So I spin my canvas ahead of time so when I do spin it now, the flower does not fall right off. It's okay if some of it goes over the edge, we like that. But we like to keep most of the flower right there. All right, so now this other fun little thing I love to do. Let's create a little flower bud. Little dots. Now I'm going to take my pointy skewer and draw right through it. How sweet is that? Alrighty now, she be done. I love it. That flower is amazing. Let's see, let me unsnap your hair a little. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. I think it turned out lovely. I'm very, ha very happy with it. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see what comes next. Thank you so much. Bye now.